What's going on, everyone? Beautiful day up here, northern Michigan. Saturday, it's about 24 degrees Fahrenheit and falling. Light snow in the air, a little bit of light snow on the ground. Not as much snow as we normally have around here for this time of the year. Normally we have a ton of snow. We're really, really, really lacking on it this year. But snow in other parts of the world, like Texas. It's pretty wild. So right now I'm getting ready to take out my Kyosho Blizzard. And I'm acclimating the vehicle to the temperature. So I just set it out here. I'm literally going to leave it out here for about two hours, maybe more, before I take it out and run it. So on the ground, I have two plastic sleds sitting on the ground. One is sitting upright, the other one is upside down. And then inside there is my Kyosho Blizzard. So I got the upside down sled just trying to keep the snow off of the blizzard. And there she is sitting on the inside. Chilling out and cooling down to the outdoor temperature. The reason for cooling down your vehicle or acclimating your vehicle is so that the snow doesn't melt and refreeze to your vehicle. If you had your vehicle sitting inside in, you know, 70 degrees Fahrenheit weather or temperature, and you bring it back outside, the snow is going to immediately start melting on all of your parts on the vehicle, tracks, bogey wheels, whatnot, and then refreezing on that. Then leaving it in the plastic sled for a couple hours, that'll lower the temperature down on the vehicle, equalize it to the outdoor temperature, and you will have a lot less snow sticking to drivetrain parts and things of that nature making everything much more fun. <laughs> so I do the same thing with my TRX4 Broncos and all my other wheeled vehicles as well. I set them outside inside a plastic sled such as this. To let them acclimate to the cold temperatures. Two reasons for putting them in a the plastic sled. One, shelter from the outdoors. Uh, two, is to keep frost from building up on your tracks or on your tires. Once again, if you bring your vehicle outside from the warm air temperatures, uh, being inside your house, you set it down directly on top of the snow. Those warm tires are going to melt the snow underneath their tires. And then the snow is going to refreeze onto the tires. So you have a little frost layer there. Tires or tracks. So putting them on a plastic sled or on a plastic garbage bag or something like that. Puts a little barrier in between your tires or your tracks and the snow. Which prevents that frost layer buildup. So there she is, covered up at the moment. We'll come back out here in a couple hours and take her out and see how she does. <laughs> Three other vehicles chilling in the sled currently. Getting acclimated to the climate. To the temperatures. Deep low tracks on all three. Let's take the blizzard out and see how she does here. A rare peak inside the inside of the blizzard here. made lid back here windshield washer jug there in a bottle refill jug we have two axial AE5 ESC's two Traxxas Titan 380 motors custom bent plow linkage <laughs> that uh, used to run behind the motor but the 380 motors are bigger than the stock motors that came in this. So I had to bend it up and over top of the motor. And then make a new adapter down here to connect it up to the servo horn. So since we have two motors and two ESCs, we are running on two batteries. Two WL Toys, 25C, two S LiPos, 2200 milliamps, 2.2 amps. So let's get these guys plugged in. Alright, so we got her all wired up and ready to go. Both ESCs are flashing, so we're all powered up. And the reason I'm running these dual ESCs is not because of the motors, it's because, it's because I burned up my ESC on my very first run with this vehicle. I tried hooking up a 2S LiPo to it and caught the ESC on fire, so that is the reason behind our two axial AE5s. Our Samson body on the truck is solid mounted right back here, two M3 screws with lock nuts. And it's mounted on a hinge at the front. 
So I can just remove the two rear screws and tilt the body forward, accessing anything underneath here. Here's a peek at our plow linkage that has been up and over top of the motor, giving us full range of motion on our plow. Powered up, ready to go. Blade control is working great. We'll try it out on some test snow here. Driving the blade in pretty good there. Or as much as the servo can handle. Trying to do this nice and slowly here. Dual 380 motors, this thing rips along pretty good without the blade on the front. Not too bad. It plows a nice little path there. First time I've plowed snow with this thing in well over two years since I've had the blade on here. So excuse me for messing up on my controllers a little bit there. It's been a long time since I plowed snow with the blizzard. Last time was when I first bought it. After I mounted the Samson body on there, I removed the blade just because of that linkage issue around the motor. She's doing pretty good. That was a nice pass. It looks like coming towards us. Driving the vehicle with the left and right stick on a regular four-channel two-stick radio. But I'm operating the blade with the right stick as well. So forward and reverse for the right stick. So the right stick on the controller controls the right track for going forward and reverse. And also for lifting and lowering the blade. Rocking the right joystick to the left and to the right. So when I'm going forward, I'm holding the blade down at the same time that I'm going forward. And I can drop the blade lower than the vehicle itself. So it'll actually lift up the front of the vehicle a little bit. Left stick on the controller is only controlling the left track. Not exactly a spiker cat <laughs> with a snowblower on the front, but for a uh, mildly modified Kyosho Blizzard with a blade, it's not too bad. Once again, the only real modifications on it besides the body are those two axial 85 ESCs, 
running dual batteries and our dual Traxxas Titan 380 motors. Too bad. Let's check out her work. She's done pretty good across the board here. Nice clean path. Just a couple of little windrows in between. But not too shabby in all reality. It'd be pretty fun for just going out and plowing your sidewalk or doing your driveway with some light snow on it just for goofing around. Surprisingly, just for having the plastic tracks on it, it does pretty well. But the plastic tracks are great for flotation. And after you're done, you can come out here and whip some donuts. Try to drift with it. Which can be difficult. <laughs> Trying to drift the track vehicle. So that is going to do it, everyone. I very much appreciate it for y'all sticking around and watching the video. And we will see you all on the next one. Thanks again.